Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today seemed like the perfect day to do this particular video because outside right now is probably a very, what I would call perfect fall kind of day. All of the leaves have fallen off the trees and I thought I need to sit down and let everyone know what my beauty must-haves, the essential things for this time of the year that I think would be beneficial to you and your life and help you be your most beautiful and enjoy the fall season that much more. So let's get right into it. Okay, first is eyeshadow. Yes, I know in the past I haven't been that big of an eyeshadow girl, but as you can see today, I did a very beautiful, if I do say so myself, fall uh, colored eye look. And unfortunately, the palette <laughs> that I used for this is not included in the ones I'm gonna mention right now, but it will be linked below. Urban Decay and their Born to Run palette. Now, I think this is great for fall because of the color selection. Of course, this row here has uh, most of the lighter shades in the palette, but these two over here, I think are just absolutely perfect for this time of year. I think it really is probably more beneficial at this time of the year because of all the great deeper tones. I love going deeper and darker uh, with my eyeshadow shades. Uh, during the fall and into the winter, and this palette is great for that. Dior palette. I have been really loving this palette. Specifically, there are a few different uh, color variations of uh, this Dior Backstage Eye Palette now, but this one in uh, Amber Neutrals is my favorite, of course, the warm tones. But not only is it warm, take a very good look at that last row. That last row is just beautiful. The colors are just incredibly rich and very pigmented, but this, these three on the bottom row here, I'm really, really happy that Dior uh, put these shades, especially into a smaller palette like this, only nine shades, but I definitely have felt in the past with the smaller palettes, that's what they've been lacking, deeper tones. I feel like when a palette is this size, the majority of it is extremely light. The, the shades are very, very light, and I really love the fact that Dior did put more richer, uh, warmer tones in this one. This beauty right here, this square one, is Bobbi Brown's Camel. And I know in previous years, that has been a shade that a lot of people have loved and I guess forgotten about because I don't hear too many people talk about it anymore, but it is such a beautiful tone. Look at how beautiful that tone is. You know, I would, I would put this all over my entire eye and I have done that in the past. I've put it all over my whole eye and just done a one shadow look with it as well as putting it into the crease to blend with other colors. It's such a beautiful, perfect, mustardy, um, corduroy brown tone that is flattering on so many different skin colors. This baby right here from Pat McGrath, this is her McMenemy lipstick. It is a matte, it is a beautiful, beautiful shade. That's a nice swatch right there. Really, really beautiful tone. I have some glosses to show you guys. Yes, even when the weather gets cold, I still love my glosses. I am not just a gloss girl in the summer. I'm a gloss girl year round. But definitely when the weather cools down, I am more inclined to go to the peachy brown uh, end of the gloss spectrum versus more pink. So first, MAC. This is Primordial. This is from their lip glass line. This is Shiseido, and this is their Honey Flash shade. 
That's MAC and that is Shiseido. Next is Pat McGrath's Faux Real. Bite Beauty's Vanilla Latte. And last but not least, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Gloss in Yes. So that's all of them there. So that's once again, MAC, followed by Shiseido, then Pat McGrath, Bite Beauty, and Bare Minerals. Two liners that I think are perfect for the fall. Definitely gotta have a black, and my number one choice for a while now is Marc Jacobs Highliner. You do have a few seconds of play time when you put it on if you wanna smudge it out, but once it's set, it's set. Sometimes black can be a bit harsh, a little bit too in your face. You need a brown. Max Costa Riche, beautiful, beautiful brown. I'm gonna put it right beside Marc Jacobs. If you are looking for a the perfect brown liner, Costa Riche probably is it. It is beautiful, creamy. Of course, I have to recommend a foundation. There's no way I could do this kind of video without recommending one to you guys. And I gotta go back to one of my tried and trues, Estee Lauder Double Wear. This one is the one that is gonna take you throughout the fall season into the winter time when the holidays come about and you're going out to a lot of different events, this is gonna stay on all night. It's great in photos. I have some blush recommendations. What is going on with me? Who am I again? When do I ever talk about blush, right? Four blush options for you, three from MAC and one from NARS. Ambering Rose, which is this shade right here. Sweet as Cocoa, this shade over here, and Raisin. Sweet as Cocoa and Ambering Rose do have a little bit of a sheen to them, but Raisin is completely matte. And these shades in particular are beautiful for tan to deeper skin tones, but even if you are uh, lighter complected, they will still look beautiful paired with, you know, that typical fall eye. If you're doing a berry eye, or a deep chocolate brown eye. These kind of tones will really set off that eye look really well. My favorite orange blush of all time, my NARS Taj Mahal. I have it here in this palette, that's it right there. You have to have an orange blush during this time of the year, no matter what your skin tone, Orange is beautiful. It really does give that beautiful, natural flush to your cheeks. One thing I forgot to mention when I was talking about the glosses, the liner, that is a must, especially this time of the year. My matte cork pencil. So that's cork right there. So it's lighter than Costa Riche, but it's still a nice, a chocolate brown, maybe like a Swiss chocolate brown, not too deep. If you are deeper complected than me, give chestnut a try, but cork is just perfect. It is such a perfect chocolatey nude liner for deeper skin tones and will really just set off any chocolatey brown lip uh, kind of look that you're gonna wanna rock this season. Of course we need to glow. Just because summer's over doesn't mean we can't still glow. But what I like to do instead of traditional uh, powder highlights, uh, during the cooler months and because I'm combo oily and my skin can handle it a little better, a little, just a little better. And this is the one that I have been loving for quite some time now. Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm in shade six. This is just the most perfect product to put underneath your foundation to give you that lit from within glow. I don't know why I did that. You can use it all on its own and on its own, it gives your face very much of a filtered kind of look. Last but not least, I have one body product 
And this is the time of year that I personally like to start really going in on body care. Getting summer ready starts now. <laughs> and this body scrub right here, this is an amazing, amazing body scrub by First Aid Beauty. It's their KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA. Yes, you get a two-in-one product, a physical exfoliator and a chemical exfoliator. Now is the time to really go in and treat your skin right. So that's it guys. Those are all of my essential beauty products for this fall season. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, if you do have any of these products, how you like them, or if you're intrigued by something that I mentioned here. Let me know which product that you're thinking about checking out and let's talk down in the comments. Please subscribe for many more videos. I'm having a lot of fun bringing you guys as much content as I can. And I really do appreciate all of your support. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.